The Sustainability Centre is an education and learning centre. So we are really a place to inspire people about living sustainably. And not in theory, but in practice. The centre is here because we want to show people that living a sustainable life is possible for everybody, not just for one or two people. So we demonstrate with the programme of work that we do, the buildings that we have, the workshops that we run, the eco um, campsite that we have, how it can be done and how it's within the reach and grasp of every single person. To do something? Well the idea was always that we wanted to be an educational centre, that we wanted to provide an opportunity for local people and people from further afield to come and learn um, both about rural skills and traditional um, practices like hedge laying and timber framing, but also to have a, a new take on how do we live on this planet in, in the most broadest sense in a way that will sustain the planet as well as the human population. I think the Sustainability Centre um, is a real key element in education in this area. Um, it's an opportunity for people to come here and learn, but it's also a learning process as the centre evolves itself. Um, I've seen sort of growth in people who've been here and learned, and you see changes every year I come back. I see things that have improved, I see things that, lessons that have been learned occasionally, not always um, have gone perfectly, but then that's then readdressed and it moves on. And I think it's a really good example of a community of people coming together in an educational way. The Sustainability Centre offers a, a lot of things to a lot of people because we try to reach as many people as we can. Primarily, I would say we're known for our education with schools. This week we've got a sustainable woodland management course here. Um, next week we may well have a hedge laying course, but we also do singer-songwriting, we do foraging courses, all sorts of things. We have a, a hostel, the schools come and stay, but also walkers from the South Downs Way, cyclists, other people who come for our courses or just for a weekend will come and stay there. I think it's essential to have not just a place like this, but places like this, especially for, for school children to come to a place like this and see things differently. I was involved in the building and we're sitting in, and for children to come in here and spend a day, it's a totally different environment to usually the, maybe the square box walls they're used to being in. You can hear the wind blowing, you can be engage with nature while you're learning and I think um, any message like that we can get into the next generation is what's going to help us going forwards. If people have the opportunity and the experience to understand sustainability not as a bunch of concepts, not as intell intellectual theory, but actually to come here and live it and experience it and immerse themselves and, and best of all have a really good time and be able to sit out around a campfire and see the stars because there's no light pollution and kids playing together you know all these ideas it, the, the mission essentially was to be an educational center but by but to educate by by experiencing by immersion by doing um, because what we do with our hands is transformative we uh, we change our consciousness, we learn more by engaging with other people and doing things. If we all did a little thing every day, then wow, that would be a huge revolution. That would change the world, that would help us connect with ourselves and what we want but actually it's grounded in practicality. That's what this centre's about. It's not a demonstration, it's real life. It's not a rehearsal, it's really happening. So kind of just grasp that.
give it a try. I mean, a, a lot of a lot of things that one learns when one's um, learning a, about the environment and sustainability are fun, you know. So come and enjoy it. Ta um, try a taste a day. Do something small to start with. Meet a few people and get inspired, and then it will grow from there.